Good evening. I'm Selwyn Collins of CWS, Conversations with Selwyn. Welcome to the brand new global purpose-driven entrepreneur series. Our guest this evening is Ms. Malaika Alikak. I invited Malaika because Malaika volunteers with Brand Youth. I think it will be a good opportunity for us to, uh, for us to introduce Malaika to the masses and learn a little bit about Brand Youth through her lens. Malaika, welcome to the series. Good evening, Mr. Collins. Thank you for having me. I'm honored to be here. You're welcome, Malaika. Let's start with when were you first introduced to Brand Youth? Well, I was first introduced in 2018 through um, Miss Ayanna McCallman. Mm -hmm. She was she told me about Brand Youth and the award ceremony that was going to happen, and she indicated that you needed volunteers. And I was a bit excited to to hear about um, the award ceremony, and I wanted to know more. So I got involved, and I decided to go right ahead and um, volunteer my time and and give to the community. So I, I started in 2018. Can you, can you describe that particular experience, that evening of the awards? What was that experience like for you? It was, it was different. It, it was amazing. It was, <laughs> it was unusual for me mm -hmm. because not every time being so young, you get to be in an environment where there's 40 different entrepreneurs and you get to, you get the opportunity to speak to any one of them, or you get to meet other persons um, within the, the entrepreneur community. So it was very exciting. And um, I felt like this, you know, is probably a, a once in a lifetime moment that I should really take the opportunity and, and get to know persons and actually um, really zone in and pay attention to, to what was happening and who the persons were and, um, you know, really get to know them and, and see what it is that drives them to become an entrepreneur so that it was a really great experience. You remember the evening well. What, what stood out for you? I mean, I'm sure there are lots of things that are memorable, but what exactly stood out for you? Okay, what stood out was the, the part where everyone had the opportunity to, to collect their awards and then they were presented with a moment to speak. Um, I believe it was the 10 entrepreneurs were given the opportunity. 12, 12 the 12, of them. Sorry, yeah. the 12 yeah. opportunities entrepreneurs were um, given the opportunity to speak um, about their experience and just being an entrepreneur. And it was really interesting. Like um, I saw that some of them come from similar backgrounds, just as me, and I was motivated. I was like, okay, this is inspiring. I can, I can be one of these persons someday. And it was from then I, I got the motivation and the courage to say, I can actually do this. I can work towards being an entrepreneur myself as well. You volunteer with Brand Youth, right? Yes. How would you describe that experience? Well, it's unlike any other um, any other organization I've volunteered with. It's um, it's different. <laughs> um, it, it, what it does, it basically focuses on community. It's very inclusive and it's diverse. So you don't really feel as though you stand out, but you fit in. Although I, I may not be an entrepreneur, I feel at home. It, it's like a community that makes you feel safe. It makes you, it elevates you basically. And um, I've learned so much uh, just being a part of Brand Youth. Um, so I, being a part of Brand Youth actually um, gives me the courage and, and motivation I need to actually um, get the, aspire to be the person I want to become. I want to ask you this, and this might put you on the spot, but what does Brand Youth mean to you? When you think of Brand Youth, what comes to mind? Um, community, is, that's <laughs> The word that comes to my community, it, I, I feel just at home. It, it's so inclusive. Um, what I feel, uh, what comes to mind is community, but what community means to me basically is just having that place where I feel that I belong. 
Um, and I feel as though I, I'm, I'm not an entrepreneur as yet, um, but I belong there. And this is where um, the community is molding me to become that entrepreneur that I want to be, to become the entrepreneur that I look at and the entrepreneur that, you know, I admire and aspire to become. So that's what Tell I knew. You, you have had, you've had, you've interacted with several entrepreneurs, several honorees. Um, you move am among them through your volunteer, your volunteering, you are able to reach out to them and contact them and so on and so forth. Give us an idea of how that relationship or benefit you. Give us a typical example of you benefiting from these relationships. Okay, well, the first relationship that um, that really stood out to me um, and that really made an impression on me is the first time that I met um, uh, Miss Evie Gertrand. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I met her, she was talking about uh, girls in tech. I was like, you know what? I don't know much about tech, but I really would like, um, you know, to learn. I, I really would like to learn more and get more involved. And that's how I first started my interaction with Miss Evie. And since then, she has been an inspiration to me. Um, I've actually been following her in terms of the work that she does. And I've been looking up to her because I'm also interested um, in marketing and that's one of her strong areas. So I've been looking closely at the work she's doing and how she does it. Um, Another relationship uh, is with Mr. Roshkan. He is um, inspiring. Um, so, Dr. Roshkan. Yes, Dr. <laughs> Khan. Um, it, and then I did um, the, the work study by him. Mm -hmm. and from the firm, well, time management is very important. And these simple principles that you learn, um, you know, that you don't take seriously, um, those principles I've learned how to basically apply it to my everyday life mm -hmm. and really enforce it and to see results. So it was really, um, it was inspiring to work with him and very motivating. And from that work study, I walked away uh, feeling that I could do anything once I put my mind to it, once I'm dedicated and committed and I just apply myself. And I've also um, done a work study with uh, Ellen Marks where um, I, I had to go in with them and their organization. Um, although I did some studies, my studies were uh, along business management. I've actually got to see a different structure of an organization and the way that their organization, the culture is. So it, it gave me the experience to see something totally different and to know this is not just not what you're accustomed to is the only way things can be done. It's possible in many different ways. So those, those were the experiences that stood out for me. You like brand news, I presume. I love brand news. <laughs> Three reasons why you like brand news. All right. Three reasons that would, the first one would be, as I mentioned before, it's a community. It really makes you feel as though you belong there. Um, it's inspiring. You get the motivation to work for what you want. And you really get these persons that you see when you listen to their stories. It's like, okay, this person probably went in, um, come from the same background as I do. And I'm inspired. I know that I can do it. It's, it's persons like me. So therefore I'm motivated to do it. And not only that, brand new, the community itself focuses on your individual, although it focuses on the community, it also looks at the individual person and it looks at your, your well-being as well. So it's, it's a safe space for me. And yes. What do you see in Brand Youth for other young people like yourself? If you, if you let, me, let me unpack that a little. If you had to encourage other young people to volunteer with Brand Youth, what would you say to them? This is the place to be. I mean, 
<laughs> why would you not want to volunteer with Brand Youth? Um, Brand Youth is, it takes, it looks at everything from a holistic approach. So when you come to Brand Youth, it's not just about you giving, it's not just about, you know, I'm, I'm giving my time, I'm not seeing results. Uh, you're giving up your time and you're seeing results and you're also gaining from Brand Youth because there's so much to learn. And when you talk about entrepreneurship, there's different areas of entrepreneurship, you know, like everything I see it as a business. So you get to learn in so many ways. It, it comes in, it, whether it's marketing, whether it's something to do with the environment, whether it's technology, whether it's a restaurant, anything like you gain so much knowledge and experience and the people within the community are willing to, to teach you, to help you learn, to mentor you. So why not? Why would you not come and be a volunteer at Brand New? I want to ask you about the purpose-driven entrepreneur, which is what Brand New honorees really are. And they say here, purpose-driven entrepreneurs play a very significant role in a country's economy and are valuable to society because they create value. They see their work as more than a job. They don't only believe in making money. They also believe in giving back to their communities. Talk a little bit, if you can, about that aspect of the brand new tonnery, the purpose-driven entrepreneur. Well, as what I see as a purpose-driven entrepreneur is, for me, the first thing they recognize is the problem. First, they see, okay, there's a problem and I need to find a solution for this problem. And when, whenever you see a problem and you're passionate enough to find that solution, it's more likely that you're gonna work harder. You're gonna go the extra mile to solve that problem. And that's what I've seen um, from the brand new entrepreneurs. Everything that they do, they're passionate about it. They love what they're doing. And because they love it to that extent, you know, they give more of their time and their effort into, into making things um, possible. And those are the solutions provided that the community benefits from, that we all benefit from. And those are the persons that we want to look up to. And that's why I think Brand Youth is a great initiative because Usually we would go by and we would not see these entrepreneurs in action, but Brand New brings them um, to the spotlight. So we can see, you know, what they're doing and we can be inspired by those persons because it, they, they start in communities just like ours and they solve the problems in those communities. And that's where they were able to expand and go larger and make it a business. So first they focus on the problem they have to solve before they look at the, um, the profit they're going to gain but once you're passionate about something and you work towards it ultimately profits will come but you know you have to start with the purpose you have to be passionate about it you may have answered this in in many of your um answers uh but i'm going to ask you to ask you directly describe how brand new has impacted your life personally um personally it it has impacted me um, all around <laughs> because one, I've it, it has made me strive to be a better person and to be more disciplined. That's that's one that's one practical discipline, example. Malika. Yes, discipline. <laughs> because I I I love what I do and I'm passionate about what I do, but I can oftentimes be a procrastinator. But when you're working with certain people there's a standard that you have to meet the minimum requirements and you're expected to be you're expected to be punctual you're expected to provide only excellent work and that has just raised the bars for me and it has made me um you know made me very um made me pay attention to the details of my work. It, it made me prepare beforehand. And so now I'm, I'm more prepared. I am more, instead of doing things at the last minute, I take time and I prepare, I review, and then I go over it again because I know when I'm bringing the work to the table, especially where brand new is concerned, it has to be nothing but excellence. So it has made me strive to be a better person um, in terms of my, um, in terms of the work I do, and that has also trickled down into my lifestyle generally. 
What do you see as possible for a community like Brand News? I see growth. Um, it, it can do nothing but grow. And the more it grows, the wider reach it has, the more people it can inspire, the more entrepreneurs we can, um, the more entrepreneurs will come. Because when persons, uh, when persons see that these entrepreneurs, you know, are being recognized for the work they do, when they see there's practical ways of doing things, they will more likely be inspired to actually start working. They will more likely be inspired to go find a problem and solve it, find something, some problem that they're facing and solve it. They're more likely to, to seek help, even if it is there by just following the person on Facebook and see how they approach problems or listening to them or following their work. I think brand new can only grow. That, that, that is awesome. If, if, if you had, if you could, say one thing to a group of um, students or a group of volunteers. No, let, let, no. Let, let me take that back. Let's back up a little. You're in a room with brand new honorees and you had three things to tell them. What would you say to them? Don't stop. <laughs> That's the first thing. <laughs> Don't stop doing what you're doing because what you're doing inspires people like me to do better, to be better. So the first thing I'd say is just don't stop. Um, the second thing I'd say to them is keep uh, doing more outreaches, you know, like for persons who look up to you, persons actually look out look up to you to share your views um, on certain issues. They look up to you um, to share practical knowledge and ideas because remember, we are following you and we wanna know how would you approach this problem? So don't stop sharing either. And secondly, um, sorry, thirdly, I would say, um, well, just be you. <laughs> because sometimes it we get caught up in this world where we find that we're trying to pattern ourselves to the most popular, to the way the most popular persons are doing it. And we oftentimes get lost in this whole facade. So it's good to see that persons are unique in their own ways. And especially when you have the platform to, to share and to inspire persons, just be yourself and, and keep doing the things that you love so that we here who, are, who has the similar views, who has the similar opinions can know that what we're doing, we're on the right path. Malaika, I, <laughs> I am just enthralled, right? I, um, you, have, you have inspired me and, and I, I am not a young person about to volunteer and you have th this is this is the beauty about encouraging young people and, and and listening because what you have just done is remind me how important brand youth is and we should keep going but those three things that you highlighted about don't stop right that is powerful don't stop um, um continue doing more doing more outreaches and, and doing work with the community, inspiring people and be yourself. That is so important. Don't worry about the criticisms. Don't worry about trying to, don't try to be like others. Just be yourself because there are those of us and stop me, correct me if I'm wrong. There are those of us and by us, you mean young people who are looking up to you to be inspired and to be motivated. Malaika, this has been an, a truly inspiring and transformative conversation. I want to thank you and I want to encourage you to continue to volunteer with Brand News. I will definitely continue volunteering with Brand News and Mr. Collins, I am happy that you gave me this opportunity to speak out and I am hopeful that a lot of young people can see this and they can learn about the community and they too can find out how to get involved in the Brand News community. Well, Malika, guess what? Guess who will be in charge of the volunteer arm of Brand News? That's all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Have a blessed evening. Stay safe. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.